Hey guys, Chris Donnelly with Guarantee RV Centers in Junction City, Oregon. Today I'm going to be showing you one of our new Jayco's that just came in. It's the J-Flight 23RB. Let's step inside. I love this Jayco. This is their bread and butter Jayco. This is the floor plan that you see in a lot of different brands, often imitated, never duplicated. You've got the front bed up there that's a walk around queen. You've got the perpendicular couch right here, dinette here, kitchen and all that stuff. But let's start by going to the back bathroom here because obviously it's a rear bath. They've kind of redesigned this over the years so you've got a lot more functionality, especially for taller people. A little more accessibility here with the corner seat, toilet right here, extra storage in the back, plenty of places to hang extra clothes. So this is really a perfect sleeper for a small family or two people, but again, you're only at 23 feet. So a much bigger shower than previous years. They've actually extended the tub there. So guys like me, you know, we fit in the shower just fine. Elbows don't hit because you got the soft curtain. It's pretty nice. I like the bathroom back here. Plenty of room for a smaller trailer. And being as it's the J Flight and not the SLX, you've got some upgraded features. One of them being the eight cubic foot fridge right here. Plenty of room, fridge, freezer, all that good stuff. Of course, a three burner stove. Things are pretty standard here with the microwave, stuff like that. Dinette table, you've got, they've started putting the doors on the outside down here to make it easy to access. Of course, you can still access it above. And then up top here, you've got a technology package where it's like a built-in DVD player, AM, FM, CD, all that good stuff. And of course, the TV here that tilts, moves out, and does all that. So one thing about Jayco that I've always loved is all of their wood is a hardwood. Everything's a plywood. I mean, it's it's wrapped here, but it's all pocket screwed in, and it is a hard plywood all the way around. You can see that also in the drawers right here, where it comes out, all hardwood. They're on nice glides. They lock in real nice, really solid, really firm. Also, in the most recent years, with their heating systems, the ducting comes out through the sides here. So it's gonna come out the side there, and of course on the back over there. No holes cut into the floor. It's not gonna sacrifice the structural integrity of the floor. You're not gonna get a bunch of stuff in the vents, things like that. And then over here, the bedroom, full-size queen bed. Guys like me, I can stretch out on this just fine. You've got the individual wardrobes on each side. But also, I love that they cut away the bottoms here. Side sleepers, you know, when you're leaning, you're not staring right at a wall, but you've also got plugins there if you use a CPAP, if you're plugging in your cell phone, things like that, nice little bedroom. You've also got hookups for another TV right there in the corner. So if you're like me, even though you go camping, still like having TV for when I go tailgating, you can do that. So on the outside here, with the J-Flight, it is a fully enclosed heated underbelly. So this is a four season trailer. It's short, it's small, but it's still four season. You've got extra storage in the back in the most recent years, because they've got the front pass through, which we'll look at, but this back side here, got a little bit of storage, but this one also has an added option of an outside fridge. I like having that, not always going inside for an extra soda or what have you. Come around the back, you have the outside shower right off the back side here. Black tank flush right off the back. And of course your common components over here in the corner. You know, your drain pipes down there, your 30 amp hookup coming out right here. Cable TV hookup, stuff like that. We'll give you a quick look at the pass through storage under here. Well, of course it's locked. <laughs> On the other side, it's probably locked too. Oh, nope. here we go. But everything's braced in there with screws, still all hard, hard wood, plenty of room. It's shared under the bed there too. And of course, you still have some nice options. You got a power awning, you've got a power front jack, you know, you've got a few nice things on this. So, overall, again, the bread and butter trailer of Jayco, it's still small, still compact. You can tow it with just about anything half ton. So, going out and spending a weekend somewhere is nice and easy to pack up, no slide to deal with or anything like that. But there is more to tell you about this, so give me a call. The number's at the bottom of your screen. My name is Chris. Hope to talk to you soon.